Please don't do this to me. I'm in a hurry. My name's Rum. Right now, I'm on my way to my friend's wedding. The guy sleeping next to me is my boyfriend, Heidi. Oh, it's moving. After I drove for a while, I was waiting to make a right turn at an intersection, and then this happened. What? Is that a siren? I checked the rearview mirror, and I saw an ambulance coming from behind. Oh no, this is the right turn lane, and it's too narrow. An emergency vehicle is approaching. Please pull over to the side of the road. I pulled over to the side and stopped the car so the ambulance could get through. But the right turn lane was too narrow and there wasn't enough space for the ambulance to pass through. Driver in the white car, could you please enter the intersection? Uh, alright, I will. As told, I entered the intersection and stopped the car. I was able to make enough space for the ambulance at last. We appreciate it! <laughs> You're welcome! The ambulance left, so I started the car. Driver in the white car, pull over to the side. Huh? M me To my surprise, I was stopped by the police. Hey lady, you're not supposed to run through a red light. What? This police officer apparently thought I was committing a traffic violation since I had entered the intersection on a red light. Um, I only entered the intersection because the ambulance came. Huh? There was no ambulance. That excuse is not going to let you get away with this. Come on, get your license out. W what's up with this guy? I'm telling the truth. The ambulance told me to enter the intersection, so I did. What I saw was your car running through the intersection on a red light. I told you, that's because... Unfortunately, the police officer saw me right when my car started running. This is a misunderstanding. I had stopped the car when I was in the intersection, but you saw me when I started the car again. I tried hard to explain myself. But the young police officer didn't bother to hear me out. Yeah, yeah. You still have to pay the fine, haha. <laughs> Could you please give up now? I don't have time for this. On top of that, he also came on me with an arrogant attitude. What's with your attitude? It didn't end there. When he saw my address on my license... So you're from Saitama. I guess the streets in Tokyo was a little hard for you, wasn't it? I see a lot of those, people living in the countryside. They come out to Tokyo and commit a traffic violation right away. What? I couldn't believe my ears. I never thought the police would make fun of me because of where I was from. I, I tried to be nice, but I can't take it anymore. Hey, you're a police officer. What's up with your attitude? Huh? Hearing my words, the policeman standing in front of me clearly made an unpleasant face. You're the one who violated and now you're snapping back? Uh, no, that's not what this is about and it is not a violation. You women are so quick to become emotional. Th that is it. This man is unforgivable. This man was completely treating me like an annoying person who was refusing to admit a violation and on top of that, was looking down on me because I was a woman. Like I was saying, this is not a violation in the first place. I am the one who decides that. No, it's not. It's not you. The law decides. Come again? That's why we, the guardian of the law, decides. Was it a little hard for a woman from Saitama? That is it! I told you! Right when I was about to tell him off? Oh, that's a... Hey, what's going on here? Hear me out! This police officer is insulting me! What? What do you mean? I explained everything to the police officer that just showed up. I told him it was wrong to mistake the facts, and on top of that, spitting out insulting words with an arrogant attitude was a problem. Oh, I see. So that's her story. What did really happen, Bakurakun? Yes! This time, someone who understands came. 
Like I said, all I saw was a car entering the intersection on a red light. And the car was her car. She's just lying because she doesn't want to get a ticket and pay the fine. Haha. <laughs> I said, the reason I was in the intersection area was because I had to make way for the ambulance. What should we do? I understand what you want to say, but do you have any proof? Um, my car didn't have a drive recorder. Come to think of it, there was no way to prove my innocence. In the first place, are you familiar with the Road Traffic Act? Huh? Yes, I am. When you're at the intersection or near the area and if an emergency vehicle is approaching, your vehicle must avoid the intersection and pull over to the left and stop. Article 40 of the Road Traffic Act. I am not wrong here. Like I said, I was only there because the ambulance asked me to. In this case, emergency evacuation should apply. By the way, in unavoidable situations, traffic violation is accepted as emergency evacuation. Huh? I don't know where you acquire the knowledge of law from, but we're going to put this into record. We don't have time for this. What kind of police officer are you? Hey, hey, hold up. So what is your job? <sighs> I guess I had to come to this. A police officer. What? In that moment, he froze with surprise. Like I said, I'm a police officer. I'm off duty today, and I'm on my way to my friend's wedding. P police officer? Oh, we share the same job. Do you have the badge with you? Here's the badge. The that can't be. Okay, okay. Now this makes it much easier. Bakarakun, she's a police officer. She won't lie about this. You said a lot of things to me, didn't you? After I revealed my identity, you could tell he started to shrink. Arrogant attitude, discriminatory remarks, mistake of facts. Should I take this up to the audit office? By the way, when someone files a complaint to the audit office, investigations are conducted by police officers. If they find problematic behaviors, in worst cases, the person could be subjected to disciplinary punishment. Uh, um, ah. What? Yes, this is Casino. What happened? There was an incident nearby, so I'll be going now. You guys are both police officers. Work things out. <laughs> You're right, this really might be a case for the audit office. What? what kind of attitude is that? I had a bad feeling when his attitude changed all of a sudden. An active police officer violating traffic laws. On top of that, placing blames on elsewhere in the hearing and threatening a fellow police officer. What? What are you talking about? How are you going to prove your innocence? His words made me realize. Oh crap, there's a drive recorder on a police car. The driver recorder on the police car clearly shows your car moving from the intersection on a red light. The, then the other police officer will prove my innocence. He only saw you complaining so he can't be your witness. Man, an active police officer lying to cover up traffic violations. You, you were planning to do this all along. That's why your attitude changed right when the other guy left. W well How are you going to prove your innocence and accusations against me? It was frustrating, but he was right. I had no way to prove my innocence. Oh, if you could ask the ambulance. That's right. But you know how many ambulances are running through Tokyo? Fine, but you go contact them on your own. In other words, he's saying he's writing me a ticket for now. Well, he's strangely clever. I guess I could prove my innocence later. This violation might go away, but you know, it's not about my traffic violations. The biggest problem is your attitude. Yes? Official, what seems to be the problem? I was just doing my job? He didn't care at all what I had pointed out. He still went on with his attitude as if he was making fun of me. I can't stand him! Don't mess around with me! You know how much insult you were spitting at me? Was there something wrong with what I said? And how are you gonna prove that? People are going to believe my words that you blame things elsewhere because you didn't want to get a ticket from a fellow police officer. You... Why don't you just give it in already? If you have complaints, prove your innocence and enter a protest against it later. So he said with a wicked smile. <laughs> How frustrating is this? 
It wasn't the violations that angered me the most. I was mad at myself because I was made fun of and couldn't punish this awful police officer for it. I'm a police officer too. I was irritated at myself for my lack of ability when... Man, I had a good sleep. Who are you? So, Rum, what's the situation? Kairi, who was sleeping in the passenger seat, woke up and then... I'm having trouble because your girlfriend right here is trying to get away with traffic violations by lying. Oh? No, no, that's not it. It's not a lie. What? Hey, could you stop talking nonsense? You guys really are a great match. Huh? I'm just working here as a professional. She's a police officer too, right? We don't need an amateur like you interrupting our conversations. Hey, you've got some pretty awful things to say. This is who I am. What? You're a police officer too? But, but still, there's nothing wrong with my actions. Well, you've turned out to quibble a lot, Bakura. Huh? How do you know my name? Who are you? S supervisor Kyrie? Supervisor? Oh yeah, you used to be a supervisor at the police training academy. You taught him too. Long time no see, Bakura. Looks like you've been passionate about your job. So, who did you say was lying? Who ran a red light? I just finished an overnight shift. You woke me up. Um, this is... <laughs> but still, do you have any proof that I'm wrong? I was just investigating the car that ran through a red light. Everything else is just accusations. Hey, why do you think I was pretending to be asleep? Wait, you were pretending to be asleep? When he was making abusive remarks? You were pretending to be asleep? Kairi took out his phone where he had recorded his abusive remarks. Oh, so you were seizing evidence. That's my boyfriend. Way to go. Phew. You can't get away with this. Um, that's... It's too late for an apologize. Actually, sorry is not going to cut it. And about the ambulance, you realized she was telling the truth in midway, didn't you? Huh? What do you mean? You could have just contacted the fire department about the time and place when the ambulance passed by, but you did it on purpose, didn't you? The, that's not my job to... Which means you failed to check on the facts, am I not right? I heard from Alto the other day that he found you slacking off at work. Um, um... You moron, go do your job right now. Yes sir, I'm going right now. They say Alto-san is scary when he gets mad. You were just trying to earn points easily, weren't you? When we get back to the office, Alton and I will beat you into proper shape. Ah, p please no, I was wrong. I failed to check the facts. <laughs> You're finished, all right. The following day, he was scolded by Kairi while his boss Alto was present and was sent back to the police academy. You don't deserve to be a police officer. You're going back to get re-educated. So somebody help me. So that's what happened. I'm sorry I'm late. After the incident, though we were late, we managed to attend my friend's wedding. It turned out alright because Kairi had proof. But I didn't think there would be someone like that in our field. <laughs> Your boyfriend is reliable. I guess you guys are up after us. Don't worry, Rum. I'll always be here to protect you. Kairi, stop it. <laughs> Unfortunate events do come unannounced. But with Kairi, I think I could get through anything. Ouch. Oh, by the way, though you take the same actions, depending on the situation, you could get punished by law. So be careful not to judge easily on your own.